Hey guys, Patrice here with another Apex Legend guide. This one will be on Lifeline, my favorite legend at this point and the one I play the most for now. I prefer her playstyle right now and the main reason is of course of her passive. The fact that you can heal or put shield up by 25% fast is a complete game changer and it's crucial to try to squeeze in that shield in the heat of the battle, mixed in with bunny hops. But before we get into the guide, a quick word for the sponsors of this video known as Mute. Mute is an online community platform for keeping you update with your favorite games, such as Apex, PUBG, Siege and if the game you want isn't there you can request for them to add it in. On Mute platform you can share news, tips, guides, updates, memes, videos and much more. You can even find your perfect squad with only few clicks. Just pick your platform, which is PC in my case, you can also set your own preset. Pick in a game you play, platform and if you want with or without microphone. After what, Mute will send you notification on squads that fit under your customization. Mute has simple upvote or downvote system, so the best posts will rise to the top. There is also this cool shop feature that you get coins for interacting with the app and can use them to customize your profile. This is an amazing app for getting people together and the biggest pro is that it's completely 100% free. You can use it on a PC, Android or iOS and I will put all the links in the description down below, so make sure to give it a go. Also as always all the timestamps will be down below, so feel free to skip any way you want and now let's get back into the video. Starting off with skills. Passive, Combat Medic. Compared to other legends, Lifeline actually has two passives and both of them are amazing. Let's start with first one, I call it the reviving shield. Depends which direction you are facing when you start reviving a teammate, it will pull down an indestructible shield facing that way. And it will also revive your teammate a bit faster than other legends will, since she is a medic. This passive is a lifesaver and sometimes is the reason you won the game. For example, let's take a look at this clip. I was dead and just got revived from a ship, so I came back empty handed, both of my teammates got downed and I had no weapons to help them. So usually this would mean it's over, the enemy can easily end me, but since I'm a lifeline, I was able to get one of my teammates up quickly and safely. Pay attention on how I place the shield. Then since I know he's low on health, I go and try to win some time for him by confusing and punching the enemy, after which Wraith decides to run away. I made a mistake here and started chasing her when I definitely should have left immediately after she used void. Either way, I realized my mistake and immediately retreat to my other teammate. Wraith put some shots on me, but thanks to my passive shield I was able to not just revive my second teammate, but also use him as a shield from her shots, which is the reason I survived myself. After which both of my teammates were up and we were able to win the fight that should have been over ages ago. We won that game afterwards, so technically if not this passive, we wouldn't have. Getting back to the point, make sure to use your shield wisely and always place it where the enemy roughly is. It frustrates me when I see Lifeline reviving me whilst her shield is facing the opposite side from where the enemy is shooting from. This ability can be so frustrating to face against especially when you are fighting 1v2 or 1v3 and as soon as you down someone before you even get to finish them, Lifeline is already reviving them with invincible shield. So you can't do anything unless you got grenade. Moving on to her second passive, which is main reason people even play Lifeline. 25% plus towards your healing or shield pop is amazing. With Lifeline you can squeeze in a shield where it's impossible to squeeze in with any other legend. The main point here is to take advantage of this if you are playing Lifeline. This ability is not for using after the fight is done, since there's no rush. If you use Lifeline then you have to make sure to use her ability in the middle of the battle. There's two ways I like to use this. First is if you're fighting in a mid range fight, make sure to run behind an obstacle or something and pop one shield. Honestly, it's so easy and quick that you always should have more health than your enemy. Make sure to always pop it when you get second. This might be hard to get used to, but it's important to do this, especially if you play lifeline. The enemy might hear the shield crash and think you are low, but then as soon as he rushes you, you already have some or most of his shield up and ready to soak up more shots. And the second way to use this is to pop shield or syringe whilst bunny hopping. There's a lot of videos on bunny hopping, but I will briefly explain how to do this now. I play on PC, so I don't know how it actually feels to do on a console, but it goes like this. First you want to sprint and gain some speed, after which you want your hold crouch to slide and as soon as you start sliding, pop your shield and start spamming jump. So you bunny hop whilst healing yourself. I repeat again. Start sprinting, then hold crouch. As soon as you start sliding, you want to pop your shield and immediately start spamming jump. While doing all of this, you have to keep holding crouch. Usually you slow down faster than the end of the healing, 
but since you have 25% extra speed on healing, you will be able to go finish the shield cell quicker than you actually slow down in bunny hops. A few things to keep in mind is that you can't bunny hop uphill. It has to be on a straight surface or downhill. And it takes some time to practice and actually get use of this in the fight, but it's definitely worth it. I'm still not perfect at doing this, but if you want some reference, make sure to watch how Shroud plays lifeline. Every time he pops a shield in the middle of the fight, you can see how he bunny hops, and he does it super effectively. Also, there's a lot of bunny hopping tutorials on YouTube, but let me know if you want me to actually make one, since I think there's enough videos done on this already. Anyway, back to the passive. One more thing I want to add is that if you get legendary backpack, then totally you will get 50% on healing speed. Yes, it does stack. This turns your shield cell pop into 1.2 second, which is arguably same speed as reloading. So if you can shove in a reload in a battle, make sure to pop shield too. Whew. With the main ability covered, let's actually get into our tactical ability. Doc Healing Drone. You drop down a drone that heals anyone who gets into the range, so yes, it will also heal your enemies. It's pretty short range, so make sure to drop it close by or move it, since you can slightly move it to reposition. It's not infinite and will only heal certain amount of health. From my experience, it's something around 250 health charge inside of the drone. And it also has a timer. This ability gives Lifeline the option to hide inside the storm, it will outheal damage from the round 1 or round 2 storm. But the smaller the cycle, the harder it is to outheal. But it's still pretty insane. For example, look on this clip. There is no way I would make it without this ability. I self revive and now I'm super low on health. It's like round 3 so the storm deals a ton of damage, but by dropping the drone it gave me enough time to heal up and use my medkit. Obviously the 25% extra speed also did the job. Just because of this ability I was able to get out of the storm alive and out heal it. And it works even better at early rounds, giving you easy hiding spots or looting time inside the storm. Additionally you can use this ability in a battle and there's hundreds of times where I did this right in the battle. If you have extra time instead of just popping one shield, I would drop the drone and then pop the shield while still getting healed by the drone. But be careful, since if enemy still gets to you and kills you, then he will just receive a free heal from you and will have extra advantage towards your teammates. If you see your teammate low on health after a fight or something, please just go and place it next to him and maybe even ping it. It's so annoying when a lifeline in a team never shares a drone and you have to use like 4 Syrogens to heal, plus the animation of it is super slow. As mentioned in the Gibraltar guide, you can put his dome shield on top of your drone. Keep this in mind since if any future legend will have something placeable, then you will be able to use it together with your drone. Moving on to your ultimate, the care package. You call in a care package that contains 3 items, it will always have 1 common item and 2 purple or higher items. I will make a separate video talking about the chances of the percentage of the drops from the care package today or tomorrow, since otherwise the video will be too long. Anyway, this ability is super useful in early game when you're trying to get purple armor or helmet, but it kinda gets more and more useless towards the end game. Well, unless one of your teammate dies and you provide him a care package to hopefully gain some useful items after reviving him. But in the end game, it's more useful to use it as bait. If you can't find the last squad or two and you are in the small cycle, then you can just randomly call a care package in to get some attention. I would also recommend for you to get some high ground and wait the enemy out. If they get baited and try to loot the package, then you can cover them with grenades or Gibraltar's ultimate for easy kills. Another way of using it is to get some cover fire. If you are stuck in one position and you can't move on since there's nothing to cover you, then calling the drop will give you some extra cover, but this is rather a very unique thing and won't happen often. You can also crush your enemies with it if that's what you want to do. You won't get any achievement for it though, so it's pretty much just to flex. If any of your teammates see an ultimate charger, they will always ping it for you. And as soon as you call in a care package, all of them will rush towards your position trying to get their hands on the loot before you. It's pretty funny, but might be frustrating, especially when they pick up your purple armor and ping you their blue armor. Being like, hey, look at me, I'm a nice guy, I, gi <laughs> I give you pleb my blue armor. You should be thankful. <laughs> Bastards. But technically, you are support, so you meant to provide support. <laughs> Alright, let's get to counter picks and team composition. Any legend who can rush you and prevent you from popping one shield, healing or reviving your teammate is kinda a counter. So someone like Bloodhound with his speed boost or Wraith with double skill thing 
but the biggest one will probably be Pathfinder, since if he even sees you trying to hide or revive your teammate, he can immediately grapple to you and punish you for doing anything. But rather than that, you don't really have counters, neither you counter anyone. Well, at least, I don't really see Lifeline Kit as something to counter someone with. She is a support in the end of the day. Also, Lifeline is someone that can literally fit anywhere, so it really don't matter what team composition you're in. Yes, you can combine skills with Gibraltar, or Bangalore can give you more cover for reviving with her smoke or ult, Gibraltar's and Caustic ult works that way too, but you will work with pretty much anyone, and your reviving shield plus heals will benefit any legend, so lifeline fits perfectly for people that don't really want to think too much strategically and build specific skill combinations. Just help your team by healing, reviving and giving them free loot, and that should be good enough. Well, of course you should help them with killing as well. Now with this out of the way, let's talk about pros and cons. Starting off with pros. Thanks to your passive, you should almost always have more health than enemy. Lifeline has second smallest hitbox in the game. Your reviving is quicker and has an invincible wall shield. That's a super strong combo. You can heal yourself in battle with drone while still being armed and ready. Your ultimate can be game changer when you get good loot early game. You fit in any team composition and can provide a lot of support towards your team. Since you have your drone, you can carry a bit less healing items which will provide more space for ammo, grenades and other items. You can survive a lot longer in the storm. And now let's cover lifeline cons as well. You have no escaping ability and nothing to protect yourself. Your ultimate is pretty useless end game and it also gives away your position. Usually the enemies will run all over you when they hear it. Your drone heals really slowly so don't expect it to immediately replenish your health. Most of the time your teammates will see you as a wending machine. You have to learn how to use her passive in the middle of a fight and predict the best time for an extra shield charge. Also bunny hop whilst getting shot is hard to do since you start panicking and pressing all the Buttons. It takes a lot of practice to learn it. I also personally don't really like any of her legendary skins, so it's a bit of a letdown for me. Alright, and last but not least, how to counter Lifeline and play against her. From all the legends I play against, Lifeline is the most frustrating. One moment I downed her teammates and think I have advantage, but by the time I get there, she already revived and healed one or even both of them, and I end up getting sandwiched. But there's still few things that might help you out. First, there is a specific sound when somebody is getting revived, so if you hear her reviving someone, try to either rush them as fast as possible and hopefully get there before they revive, or even if you get there after you can one shot the enemy that was revived and then fight her 1v1. Or you can retreat as well and heal up, since they will get healed up pretty quickly as well. Next. If you see a lifeline hiding behind something after being shot, then be prepared for her having some of her shield recharge already. If you have any grenades, make sure to lob them before going in. Lifeline care package doesn't show up on the map and it also has different color compared to the game drops. So if you hear one and it wasn't announced by the game, then it's probably a lifeline. But don't just run there blindly, since it might be bait. Okay, I almost covered everything in this video. I will release another video probably tomorrow on the percentage of her care package loot. So explaining what items exactly drop and what is the chance of them spawning. If you like this video, make sure to like it. If I missed any tips, make sure to put it down in the comments starting with something like pro tips. That will help me out a lot and other players. Thanks to Mu for sponsoring my video and don't forget to check their platform out. All the links for it will be down in the description. If you want to see more Apex videos, make sure to subscribe and I see you guys in the game. Bye.